Question number first. Construct triangle DEF such that DE measures 5 cm, DF equals 3 cm and measure of angle EDF equals 90 degrees. Here, the aim of our construction is to construct a triangle DEF where DE equals 5 cm, it's given to you, and DF measures 3 cm, the same has been written, and the measure of angle EDF equals 90 degrees. So in this exercise, we have studied about side angle side criteria. That is angle must be between two given sides. So how you check this in the given question itself? So here you see DE and DF. What is the common? Here D is common. Therefore, the angle must be given on D. Then only you can do it. Otherwise, you cannot construct a triangle. That is all about side angle side that you have studied in your sixth standard. So first of all, always write your aim. Now steps of construction. Whenever you watch 90 degrees, you just get the sketch in your mind that the triangle will be something like this. Now, first part is draw a line segment DF equals 3 cm. So why we have taken DF equals 3 cm? Because we know you have to construct 90 degrees on D. Therefore, we took DF equals 3 cm. It's a simple step using ruler. Now B, at point D, draw an angle of 90 degree with the help of compasses. That is angle XDF equals 90 degree. So you don't use protractors here although it is not asked that you cannot use it but since you have studied how to construct it with the help of compasses let's revisit it so this is your point and you have written df as your points and the measurement as three centimeter now here you have to make a perpendicular that is 90 degrees and represent it with this square box first of all open your compasses to a small radius and draw an arc that is putting your needle here draw an arc or draw a semicircle. Now here, put the needle and open your radius a little bit bigger and draw this arc. And now put needle here, draw this arc. Wherever it bisects the first arc, that will give you 90 degrees. That is you are bisecting. This total semicircle is of 180 degrees and bisecting means dividing angle equally. Therefore you construct 90 degrees. Now take a ruler, construct it your reasonable height then taking ds center you will take ds center we'll draw an arc of radius 5 cm now open your compasses with the help of ruler to 5 cm put your needle here and intersect this perpendicular line that will give you a measure of 5 cm so that is why you use your compasses because using ruler you may have some observation errors that you will also study in your later classes now join ef to construct the triangle successfully. So it is the required right angle triangle DEF which is right angled at D. So that is your first. Question second. Construct an isosceles triangle in which the length of each of its equal sides is 6.5 cm and the angle between them is 110 degrees. Here the aim of construction is that we have to construct an isosceles triangle as given in the question you have to construct an isosceles triangle in which each side that are equal measures 6.5 cm. Therefore, we have named this triangle as PQR, where PQ equals RQ. And now, how you will know that where you will draw angle? By using these two sides, which is common amongst them. That is Q, therefore angle will be formed at angle Q. That is the way to know where the angle will be formed. Now again, you can use a protractor, but it is very handy to learn construction with the help of compasses only. Now steps of construction. First of all, we will take a line. We have taken QR. Why QR? Why not other? Because we know we are going to construct angle on Q. 6.5 centimeter. Take your ruler and draw a line segment. That is from Q to R of 6.5 centimeter. That's your A, B. At point Q, you have to form an angle using protractor or compasses. Protractor is easy, but with compasses you must also know so draw an angle of 110 degrees with the help of protractor that is angle yqr equals 110 degrees you may use protractor but with the help of compasses itself you can also draw it so let's break 110 degrees that will be 20 plus 90 degree so first of all make 90 degree that you have learned in your previous question also that is make a semicircle using small radius and then from here draw this arc and from here 
draw this up that's your 90 degrees now this is your reference point now you have to construct 20 degrees so how you construct 20 degrees take your compasses open it and place pencil here and open it somewhere here wherever you find suitable and draw this semicircle drawn now don't change the radius put your needle here and intersect this semicircle here it will intersect like this now pick your needle up and put it here and draw an arc like this put your needle here and draw wherever it cuts that will be measure of 20 degrees that is this angle equals 20 degree and it completes 90 plus 20 gives you 110 degrees although this is not perfectly 20 degrees but you can approximately take it as 20 degrees so that is how if you don't have protractor you can construct angles so that is your b now taking q as center draw an arc with radius 6.5 centimeter that is first of all you will just draw it to some certain length and then with the help of ruler and compasses you will adjust your compasses to 6.5 centimeter and intersect it here you can also do it with your ruler but as we have stated in previous question that some measurement errors happen from the individual basis therefore it is best idea to use compasses only so intersect this will perfectly give you 6.5 centimeter now join pr in order to complete your triangle so it is a required isosceles triangle pqr angled at q equals 110 degrees and what we have learned from isosceles triangle these opposite sides will be equal and also these angles will be equal as well and how much they will measure they will be 180 minus 110 that is 70 and 70 half is 35 so they will be 35 and 35 because sum of measures of all the angles within a triangle equals 180 degrees that is your second question question third construct triangle abc with bc measure 7.5 centimeter ac 5 centimeter and measure of angle c equals 60 degrees well by now you have observed that we are constructing constructions which have an angle between two given sides that is we are constructing on the principle of side angle side in previous exercise we constructed on the principle of side 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 that is we are constructing on the basis of congruence of triangle so what we have in this question we have to construct triangle abc where bc is 7.5 centimeter and ac equals 5 centimeter and measure of angle c equals 60 degrees again how we will know that this is that type of question where we have angle between them from the given sides what is common well c is common therefore angle must be on c otherwise we cannot construct a triangle because it will not follow any of the criteria that we have studied in our previous class so we have to construct a triangle where bc is 7.5 centimeter ac is 5 centimeter and measure of angle c equals 60 degrees the same but you have to write it now steps of construction a part draw a line segment bc equals 7.5 centimeter now why we chose only bc why not ac well we can choose this also because we have c here but we have taken this one it's your choice you can take any of them just make sure on which you are going to construct an angle that side must be there so using ruler we will make a line segment and name it as c b that is its extreme points and put a measure 7.5 centimeter at c you have to construct an angle with the help of protractor that is xcb equals 60 degree but as we are stating in every question with the help of compasses only how we can construct well you know it very well put your needle here open to certain radius and draw an arc now do not change the radius put needle here and wherever it cuts that will be a 60 degrees because you know this is 60 and if you put needle here again and wherever you cut that will be your 120 degrees and in between we have 90 degree perpendicular that you have studied in your previous class now 60 degree now use the ruler and construct it to a certain length so we have done these two steps now taking c as center and with radius 5 centimeter and how you will take 5 centimeter not directly with ruler you will use your ruler and adjust compasses to a radius of 5 centimeter then you will put your needle here and wherever it intersects that will be your 5 centimeter and then it is just a matter to join ab well the arc will not be like this it will be something like this so it is a required triangle that is abc with a given measurements 
So that is how you use your side angle side property of congruence of triangles. And in later chapter, we will study some other property of congruency of triangle. So that is the last question, question number third.